Tom Brady's soon-to-be ex-wife, Giselle Bunchen, is a witch. And I'm not saying that due to her reasons for wanting a divorce from Tom Brady. I'm saying it because she's an actual witch. And Tom Brady confirms this. Watch this. Any, any superstitions going into the game? Any special thing you carried into the game on Sunday that you had tucked away somewhere? Uh, I did. <laughs> I always, um, you know, I've learned a lot from my wife over the years. She's so about the power of intention, you know, and believing things that are really going to happen. And she always makes a little altar for me at the game because she, she just wills it so much. And uh, so she put together a little altar for me that I could bring with pictures of my kids. And I have these little special stones and healing stones and protection stones. And she has me wear a necklace and take these drops she makes. And I say all these mantras. And I stopped it, questioning her a long works. time ago. I did. I just shut up and listen. And at first I was like, this is kind of crazy. And then about four years ago, we were playing the Seahawks. And she said, you better listen to me. This is your year. But this is all the things you're going to have to do to win. And I did all those things. And by God, you don't work. It was pretty good. <laughs> and then in 2015, it was about early January. And she said, you know how much I love you. And I said, yeah. And she said, I just want to let you know this is not going to be your year. Oh. And of course, we lost. I said, what does 16 look like? <laughs> and she said, 16 is going to be your year. <laughs> so it was early January this year. And I said, babe, i asking, like, do we have a chance? And she said, yeah, but you're going to have to do a lot of work. And you're really going to have to listen to me. <laughs> so man, I listened to her. And right after the game, she said, see, I did a lot of work. You do your work, I do mine. She said, you're lucky you married a witch. I'm just a good witch. It's crazy how everybody just like laughs at it. They're like, oh, that, that's so cute. Oh, so cute, so cute. Yeah, that, that's not cute. That's demonic. There's no such thing as cute demons. So all these things that Tom is joking about doing, like wearing necklaces and having these healing stones and saying mantras and having an altar, all of this is straight out of New Age, occultism, Luciferianism, and witchcraft. And Giselle even admits that she's a witch when she tells Tom that he's lucky that he married a witch who's now divorcing him. So Tom Brady, although he grew up Catholic, he's more of this like spiritual, like, I believe that something exists. I believe that there's a belief system out there. And he's just one of these not religious, but spiritual type people. And I'm pretty sure that Giselle has had some influence uh, in that area in his life. Now, here's the thing. This whole I'm spiritual, not religious stuff, this been around forever, but when somebody says, oh yeah, I'm spiritual, what you have to understand is, so are demons. Demons are spiritual as well. And demons are also very deceptive. They are very good at deceiving people and tricking people into thinking that they are not demons. They trick people to think that religion, bad, spirituality, good. As long as you're not worshiping Jesus, you're on the right path. So always remember that. Just because somebody says they're spiritual, Get some clarity on what type of spirituality it is because demons are very spiritual. They are spirits. Now, a lot of people who are in sports, like they're very superstitious. So people who play baseball, they'll like wear the same socks for the whole entire season without washing them. You know, just funny things like that. So superstition is easily played into when it comes to, you know, sports games. Think about your friend who's like a sports fanatic. I'm sure they have some weird superstitions they do when they want their team to win. But this is not just a superstition. What Tom was participating in because of his wife was actually occultism and witchcraft and sorcery. So what does this matter anyway? Like is witchcraft wrong? You know, so what? He's just being a little superstitious. Well, I guess if you view the world with uh, like morality being subjective and you could have your truth, I could have my truth, then I guess you would be correct that witchcraft isn't really wrong. But if you look at the world the way I do through a Christian lens, which I believe is the correct worldview, given the evidence that we have, then practicing this type of stuff is pretty bad. Sorcery is actually condemned so badly in the Old Testament that 
you could face a death penalty if you participated in it. Thank God we don't live by the old laws. And also, thankfully, we live in a country where you can practice whatever religion you want. But just because we're free to practice something doesn't mean that what we're practicing is actually free. It can take a toll on you whether you believe that it's something positive or not. Just because you believe something's right doesn't mean that it is right. And you could say this to me as well as a Christian. You could be saying, oh, well, just because you're a Christian, that doesn't mean that you're right. These other people could be right. And I agree with you. That could be true. But given the evidence we have, I do believe that Christianity is the correct worldview. But whether you believe me or not is completely irrelevant to what's true and what's not true, what's good and what's not good. One thing that most people can agree on, whether we believe that this person exists or not, is anything associated with Satan usually equals bad. You do not have to be a religious person to be like, you know what, I probably don't want somebody who's a Satanist babysitting my kids. So how is Satanism relevant to the conversation that we're having today? Well, a lot of people will like to say that New Age spirituality, which Giselle is practicing, they like to say that not, it's not demonic, it has got nothing to do with the occult, it's got nothing to do with Satanism, you know, that, that's, that's over here. But that's not what Satanists are saying. Anton LaVey, who is the founder of the Church of Satan, he wrote the Satanic Bible and was one of the biggest proponents of Satanism in his time. He's quoted as saying that all New Age spirituality is, is trying to play the devil's game without using his infernal name. Basically, it's just Satanism repackaged to be more palatable to the rest of the world. So if this is the case, and Tom Brady and Giselle actually do get a divorce, I hope that Tom Brady divorces himself from any of these New Age practices he may have picked up while being married to Giselle. But with that being said, we should also be praying that they reconcile their marriage, that they come to Christ and find salvation. And if they do get divorced, we have to pray that this is a smooth process and that the kids don't get like pinned between the parents and stuff because divorces can get ugly. So just keep them in your prayers. Now, the reason why this stood out to me is because I actually used to worship demons myself and I worshiped them without realizing what I was doing. I had an altar, I was wearing necklaces, I was saying mantras, and I was doing all this demonic stuff while believing that it was good. So if you want to see my video where I discuss how I used to worship demons, click right here. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, all of that good YouTube stuff. And if you really enjoy this content, become a Patreon supporter. All right, guys, God bless. I'll see you on the next one.